Ava's Poppy by Marcus Feister Every morning, Ava crossed the field in front of her house. One day, she found a poppy. You're very beautiful, said Ava. Please, can I be your friend? Ava visited her flower every day, and every day she found it right away. It stood out in the field, a lovely shining red. Its petals were very soft, and sometimes they moved gently in the breeze. Together, Ava and her poppy would look up at the sky. Ava was always there for her friend. She protected it from the cold wind. She gave it water when the earth was dry. And she put up her umbrella when it rained too hard. Ava looked after her friend with tender loving care. But then the flower began to lose its petals. Ava was sad. Only the round capsule was still shining fresh and green. But soon that too became brown and dry. Ava dug a hole, laid the capsule inside, and covered it with earth. Goodbye, dear Poppy, whispered Ava. Ava made a circle of stones to remind her where the flower once stood. Then winter came. Ava often thought of her friend. The snow would certainly have been too cold for my flower, she said to herself. In the spring, Ava went back to her stone circle. And there she made a wonderful discovery. In the center of the circle, a tender little plant was reaching up toward the sky. The end.